what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back some more spartacus today we're going to be doing two episodes so getting your double upload as promised anyways um spartacus blood and sand season one episode seven and eight is here today and i'm ready to jump in because i want to see what's going to be the aftermath um what's going to be this dynamic now because if spartacus finds out that Batiatus, you know what I'm saying, like, he's in league, he's in league, he orchestrated this whole thing because, you know what I'm saying, like, he, basically, he's saying that he can't, Spartacus can't say he didn't keep his word, so now, I hate Batiatus, he's a scoundrel, um, you know, as I said in my last review, you know, I trusted him. I trusted him because the the way out they were portraying the character, as I was following the character, is this guy is, you know, different from the others. You know what I'm saying? Um, but really, really, he's just as bad. He's really just as bad as the rest of them. So let's go jump into this and see what happens because I am going nuts for this past week try, trying to get back to these reactions but anyways let's go do this i will see you guys for the review all right i am back um actually not really <laughs> but um just to let you guys know the reason why this wasn't out yesterday i was actually recording the the first one i was like i was gonna release one by itself but my computer just gave out overnighted a laptop to myself um and finally get to do it back over tonight it was actually pretty quick actually i mean amazon is awesome you know what i'm saying <laughs> let's do stuff you know what i'm saying new year new thing amazon is just they're awesome when it comes on to overnighting things so got a new laptop today hooked it up set it up whatever did the second episode because I did promise you guys double upload. So I didn't want to do the single one. And then you guys are going to be asking about it. I know you guys are going to be asking. About it. Like you said it was going to be double uploads after the holidays. Listen, man. Here we <laughs> You know, here we are. For some reason, I got blood on my face. Like I just was in the arena. <laughs> but anyways, it's like a little thing there. I think I scratched myself with my nail or something. But anyways. Um Yes, these two episodes were great. These two episodes were great. Mind you, I wanted to watch them to together and have a fresh mind going in, but I had to go back and kind of look at episode seven to before I did this review. So things that happened in episode seven as particles just going off. You know what I'm saying? Become the per becoming the person who Batiatus wants him to be. And now in episode eight, he's teaching. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, um, as I said during the episode, like, I have no animosity towards Crixus. Never I, I didn't like him at first, but I grew to kind of understand the type of person in type of person he is. Cause a lot of these guys they're putting up front. You know what I'm saying? But he's a very kind-hearted person. It's just that, you know, you got those people that understand the brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? And Spartacus, you know, he's just been the troubled. He's the troubled child. I like him better, you know, but he's the troubled child. You know what I'm saying? That joins the brotherhood but don't really understand because, you know what I'm saying? But he do, he does show respect to Chris to Crixus on some level. You know what I'm saying? Um, they have a mutual understanding. And I'm glad that this two of them, you know what I'm saying, going to be back and forth with the, the whole champion thing. That's going to be great to see on screen. But I think eventually, I think eventually they're going to become great friends. Like, that's where I see them ending up, like, you know, defending the Domino, or whatever, or the Ludus, you know. So, um, you know, with Il Ilithia doing something, 
that's what saved Crixus because he, he was, I was like, what is going to happen? Cause I was questioning what is going to happen to cause Crixus to stay. Right. And that's, that's, you know what I'm saying? My brain just, it goes all over the place and creates scenarios. So first thing when she got him up, cause at first I thought she was going to give him some ass, but <laughs> that was not the case. Um, so she basically kind of, you know, insinuated or kind of nudged old dude a, a, a bit, you know what I'm saying, to do the deed to Spartacus, you know, they didn't show it on screen, like, that's what, she, like, she told him to do it, but we know she told him to do it, okay, because that's what I was thinking, like, what does, she, what does she want more than anything right now, is to see Spartacus dead, especially because of what he just said to her, too, you know, in front of her friends, and her friends admitted, hey, what, you're gonna kill the man for speaking the truth, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, you know what I mean, so that was pretty awesome, so I'm looking at it, and I'm saying, going forward, I think they're gonna have a better relationship, Crixus, Crixus and Spartacus, I'm glad that he's, that they're letting him stay. Wouldn't want Crixus to end up with um, Salonius or whatever his name is. That dude is a douche and a half. He, you know what I'm saying? Like, Batiatus is not my favorite character right now. I still kind of mess, you know what I'm saying? I still kind of mess with him, you, you know, on a, on, a, on a certain level. But I don't trust him. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't trust him. Lucre Lucretia is always getting the short end of the stick you know what i'm saying like you know other than the fact that she's cheating on her husband behind her back with a freaking slave which is not gonna go over well if he ever finds out but other than that like with her friends like they're trying to get this social status and i think she kind of chose the wrong person because she still want to be friends with lithia but at the same time i think beneficial to their house it's better to be with the other with the other friends even though you know what i'm saying they pulled out the claws and they just talk shit because you know they're not they don't have to be accountable to, for anything and they could talk shit to you you can't do shit because you know what i'm saying like they got they know people they know people you know what i'm saying they have they they on that higher class bullshit so i'm looking for i'm looking forward to more from this show man i'm very much looking forward to more um, from this show, you know, Spartacus has been in a rampage, destroying people in the arena, but I like that scene where he kind of, I think Crixus should have never tried to prove himself there, as I said, I just knew he was going to get his ass kicked, he's not well, he's not 100%, Who's to say if if he even was 100% if he would have beat Spartacus? I don't think so because Spartacus has been honing his skills throughout all this time. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, you know, you know what I mean? He's had the experience now in the arena as such. I don't, at this point in time, I don't think he's a better fighter. I don't think Crixus is a better fighter than Spartacus. I think Spartacus is the better fighter at this point. Um, even if Crixus is hat a hundred percent. Doctore, whole different story. I still think Doctore would whoop any of them's has one on one. That's there. You know what I'm saying? He's a legend, you know what I'm saying? Um, so you know, things to look forward to. Um definitely wanna see if um if Crixus and this slave girl is going to ever end up together. What I, I want to see if Varro is going to get back with his wife or whatever. And then we're going to see if. And then I also want to see um, what's going to happen for, for the future of Spartacus. Because right now he's just basically, you know what I'm saying? Like he's just in a place right now where he's just like, he's very humbled. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I like the turn i like the turn i like the words that he said to varro you know what i'm saying even though you know what i'm saying varro didn't exactly tell him the whole story he just basically tell him that he, she's pregnant with another man's baby that he forced himself on her and stuff like that which is not what we heard that's not what happened in episode seven if i remember correctly because i believe she said it was some dude that they were like came in and I have to go back, but I'm pretty sure he said that they, you know, 
they're not having enough corn they needed help and he came and provided so she gave up the ass i think that's what happened i'm pretty sure that's what she said i don't remember i don't <laughs> i don't remember exactly but i could be wrong but anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man D these two episodes were great and i thank you guys for tuning in you guys are awesome you guys keep demanding these episodes i'm gonna keep putting them out so See you guys next time. Remember to like, subscribe if you're new, and also leave a comment in the comment section, man. Let's do this. Peace out.